Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about caterpillar. Incredible caterpillar facts. There are more than 20,000 species in the world. Biologists believe that they will discover many more of these animals, with many of them being discovered in remote areas. Some of these insects that turn into moths can sting, but butterfly caterpillars cannot sting. The vast majority of them eat plants, but a few will eat insects and other caterpillars. They may spin a single pupa, or they may spin a cocoon around themselves before spinning an additional pupa around the cocoon. The caterpillar stage can last from 1 to minus 11 months, depending on the species. The largest caterpillars in the world can reach up to 6 inches in length. Where to find caterpillars These insects can be found almost anywhere that there are plants for it to eat. Some species have particular habitats while others live in many different areas. Butterflies often live under leaves, in shrubs and grasses. What do caterpillars eat? Most butterflies eat plants. Most prefer the leaves but will eat the seeds and petals if they are hungry enough. Some caterpillars also eat insects and even other caterpillars. Caterpillar to butterfly A caterpillar is ready to become a butterfly the moment that it comes out of its cocoon. First, it eats a bunch of food until it reaches a predetermined size. That process can last from 1 to minus 11 months. Then, its body releases the molting hormone ectosone. Each time the hormone is released, the caterpillar's body still contains juvenile hormones. Therefore, it remains a caterpillar. Each time the ectosone hormone in the caterpillar's body becomes stronger while juvenile hormones become less. Most caterpillars go through this process four times. As the process is taking place, imaginal discs have started to emerge from the caterpillar's body. After the juvenile hormone level drops below a certain threshold and the ectosone hormone rises above a particular level, the caterpillar forms a chrysalis. The developing imaginal discs grow quickly into a sock shape. Each imaginal disc becomes a part of the butterfly's body, and most of the caterpillar is transformed into the butterfly. How to get rid of caterpillar It is important to remember that not all of these insects are harmful, but they may harm plants in farm fields or your garden. If you notice them in an area where you want to get rid of them, then there are at least four methods that you may want to try. First, you can hand pick them off your plants. This method is most effective if you have a small area and catch caterpillars in the area when there are only a few. Sometimes, spraying the area with water is an effective way to encourage caterpillars to move on. Secondly, if the insect has built nests, you can use a stick or other object to knock down the nest and tear it apart. You need to destroy the nest so that the eggs inside them do not turn into more caterpillars. Since caterpillars usually return to the nest at night, this method works best when done in the evening or early morning. Are caterpillars harmful? It depends on the species of the caterpillar if they are harmful. Some caterpillars, like the saddleback, can cause misery to people who touch them. You can identify saddleback caterpillars by their oval purplish brown spot in the middle of a green patch on its back. Saddleback caterpillars deliver the poison through tubes on the side of their bodies. What's the purpose of a caterpillar? The purpose of a caterpillar is to eat. Most caterpillars, like the swallowtail caterpillar, have a set of plants that they prefer. These plants are called umbilifers. For the swallowtail caterpillar, favorite umbilifers include milk parsley, carrot, fennel and angelica. Caterpillars, like the swallowtail, use the food that they eat to grow. Then, they build their cocoon, where they morph into butterflies. Do all caterpillars turn into butterflies? No, not all caterpillars turn into butterflies. Some turn into moths. An example is the woolly bear caterpillar that turns into an Isabella tiger moth. Woolly bears are one of the few caterpillars that can survive in the Arctic. The woolly bear has hundreds of hairs covering its body. When they feel threatened, they often roll up into a ball. Then, all you can see is their hair. Additionally, centipedes and millipedes can look like caterpillars. They are not classified as caterpillars or as insects because they do not have six jointed legs.